Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCS 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. This is man, yeah, really weaving that caliber quite nicely. Yeah. Okay, loose at top side. Yeah, perfect. Gonna have to pop the ghost. Let's see whether that's going to allow him to survive. Oh, the harpoon's going to land and he's really dead, guys. Really, very much dead. Big time dead. And there goes the Udia. That is first blood going over to DK. Yeah. They're not able to give the kill over to Kingen, which is a little bit unfortunate, but, you know, Lucid will take the gold. Knocking the Sudir out of lane early is going to leave a lot of the pressures. Meanwhile, yep, in goes Pioshik, and that is a really dead aiming. Um, Deft and Barrel doing a lot of that work beforehand, but you can see Pioshik, he got that knock up sorted and then made sure that that was a kill that was definitely going to happen. Aiming with Ignite as well. And Back he comes, I've seen this one before, wow. That was almost like a tutorial of how to dive a turret, and it worked out quite nicely. There's a flash from BDD as Showmaker comes in as well. Dusting off that synergy that they uh, built together in 2022. Kind of cute seeing that they were able to make that play so cleanly. And maybe it does allude to something being real special about that combination of players. Not to take anything away from King and who is in this game um, on the other side, and Zekka who was playing in the previous one. Both of them very important, but just because uh, they're having identity crisis at the same time. I yeah. Uh, um, oh, dive set up by the way for perfect here. Lucid is just ready to press R on him. Oh, well, perfect should be able to deal with the wave relatively quickly, but in he goes. Yeah, equalizes down as well. This is a very dead Udia once again. Lucid. So I'm very concerned for how relevant perfect is going to be versus how strong King is going to be. The same could be said of aiming to a certain extent. But I'm a little bit more worried about that uh, Yordle in the top lane. Yeah, I feel like you already illustrated it, right? Like the fact that you can be very, very good into an Aphelios as a Rumble. He doesn't have a Lantern to go here as well. Um, and his Azir is very dangerous. He's behind a little bit of farm here in comparison to Showmaker, who's had a relatively quiet game, but one where he's been farming a heck of a lot. Actually, uh, getting a They're not going to commit. King in. Oh, dear. Oh, he's going to go for the back, and then he gets the bad news. Equalizer does come down, barrel burning. There's the flash! He gets kicked back, and that is potentially a one-for-one, one, but never you mind. Deft has to flash, and the Emperor's Divide gets Showmaker out of there. Pyrrhic wanting to get the knock-up. He will. Wind becomes lightning. Double kill for the Azir. But two for two is not what KT wanted. No, certainly not, as now perfect. The one under fire here will avoid the bubble. Uh, I like this uh, Ghost Blade Atlas here from aiming as well. Oh, okay, that's a bit of a new -y. As Perfect now finding himself with a few bad guys around. Cease and Assist comes in, there's an Equalizer dropped on top of the Udia. And Troll there, now KT gonna pivot towards that top side and look for the Herald take, they will be successful, but D plus turn it into a kill. Pushing that Udir again further and further out of relevance in this game. And even Kingen is going to delete some minions down here and get some significant as by set himself up for success. Oh, I've seen this movie before. Uh, Bolt Breaker comes out. Perfect is just trying to stay alive, but he's just dead. There's nothing he can do about it. 3-0-1 now for Lucid on this Vi. I mean, Perfect's turning into a bank, man. They just keep making withdrawals. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be much left in the account after this. As uh, I said, oh, if it uh, gets uh, value. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Look at that. He can drive this guy. And I don't know how he made it over there, but um, what? Uh, can we get a replay? I think it's strong, please. Technically, penalty declined by D plus though. Uh, and oh, and looks like perfect is. Oh no, he even. This ran. is not a replay. No, it's not. Well, I mean, it is, but it's not. Like it's live, but it's it's yeah. Um, a bit of a sad sad time there. There is a lot of resources being used on the bottom side of the map. Will mean that inner turret is going to be taken down. A showmaker has a bit of a giggle watching this one fall. Drake. Going to be picked up here by D+, plus, so they grab themselves a kill on the Udia, possibly this outer turret as well as a Drake. To be honest, Atlas, at, at a certain point, committing this many resources to killing a low-value Udir who's already out of the game might actually end up costing D+, plus because they're losing really valuable... They think that, you're, you know, mentioning the map control certainly is a really big thing. As Season Assist going to be used here as another Equalizer comes down. Emperor's Divide going to be used here as BDD burning, 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 and Ingo Showmaker the flash. Oh! Just the edge of the dash cannon. 
going to pick that one up. That's a very rare. Oh, you're not actually going to commit. I'll take out the second turret. You're the inner in bottom side. It's going to take him a little while to do so, but who's going to punish? It's going to be maybe Pioshik here? Yeah, well, I don't know whether Perfect is really going to do too much by himself, but let's see whether Pioshik can actually help out here. As Kingen, one versus two, teleports coming in. There's the equalizer. Can they actually do this? Kingen's just going to chase down Perfect, and yeah, he definitely can do this. Did Showmaker even need to turn up? Well, he likes it because he picks up two kills, but I have a feeling Kingen would have been fine. And this is what I was saying. I mean, the Rookman just doesn't, it's not going to help you. It's not enough. You're too far behind. He's got Crypt Bloom done. He yeah. doesn't care about your MR, he doesn't care about your shield, he doesn't care about you at all. He's just going to kill a turret and say thank you. Had to flash, but keeps his teleport, and he can just go back to his side and do it again. Yeah, Perfect's like, I thought I bought a claw. Why did I get this Hajushi's fanny pack? Yeah. Oh, no! We're giving bottom. They're going to start this Baron again. And Kingen has Equalizer and Teleport. He's going to use the Teleport now. Teleport coming in from Perfect as well, who's going to soak the culling. That is valuable. As the Tidal Wave comes in, Deft is going to tank it. Now Pyoshik in the pit secures the Baron, but Kingen! One versus three is melting them! He's going to break what used to be a stopwatch, does eventually go down, thanks to Pyoshik making his return. And now because of that, so much of their damage is now missing. It's going to have to be on Showmaker to make it happen. Lucid dives on in there as BDD goes golden as well. Aiming has to really make something happen, but Lucid's going to go down first. And look at Perfect! He's frontlining. He's, he's doing it. He's, doing he's it. relevant. He's getting help from Barrel. He's he's helping. Yeah, it's continuing to kind of work out here as Pyoshik's at full health, just chasing after them. And now Kellen, yeah, fish food for the Azir. And the, the re-engage there from D plus after losing control of the Baron just felt so puzzling. And it's not the first worked out pretty well. But in this case, they just donated a ton of gold over to KT. They've now oh, almost lost man. their gold lead, as you can see here in the gold difference over time. Or again, there were boopenings all over the place. OK, we're doing it again. Yeah, Lucid standing in the back of the pit. This could be Ocean Soul. He does manage to get in, but doesn't manage to get the Drake. Goes for the season assist, and there's the Equalizer on top of Deft, and they take him down. Now Showmaker's looking for Barrel. They take another. Lucid might go down, but I think the damage has been done. Pyoshik, kind of massive, gets the knock up on a Showmaker. That's a lot of damage now mitigated. And Kingen can't do anything. What is this? This is how he's, he's doing so much. Gigantic. It's actually insane. He just can't be hurt. I guess not. B to D, he can. Oh my god, Pyoshik! You monster! Oh, he's not going to be able to make it happen. There's the double as Kingen picks up the ace. They miss out on Soul, but they do kill the entire enemy team. I mean, the Baron. And Lucid and no Kingen, vision. we're going to try and take that one down. And yeah, uh, are they ever going to be able to do anything about it is the question. They do see that it's going down, and now Beryl. Wandering on over, look at all of the vision available here for D+, and it is burning, burning, continuing to go down. Pyoshik trying to get in there, the culling, trying to soften him up, but it's just not going to work out. This is definitely going to go down. Pyoshik, can he get in? Oh my god, that went down to way too low. D+, that is terrifying, but they are able to lock down the Baron and back away. I mean, also... Ocean Drake, that's just so point counterwise here for KT, isn't going to feel great. Is it going to feel equivalent at all? KT now going to scramble to defend, but look at Whoa. Showmaker in the top lane. He's pushing down that inner. His turret's not long for the world. Yeah, there's a flash forward from Lucid. B D does go golden, but now his turret is gone. He gets over the wall, and Perfect is going to be the sacrifice. The Emperor, he told him, my subject, you must go, for I must live. And that is precisely what happened. But the base, it definitely didn't. Beryl has made it back. He's got his little knapsack here, but... His house is being torn apart, aiming, just throwing bullets into it. Showmaker doing the same thing here as Deft and Dragon of this game. And there's a flash forward from Deft. Don't know about that one. What was the... Huh. Yeah, there did wasn't did really he have one last Gravitum or something that I did not see? Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. No, no, nothing to get there. But and you lose, but D-plus have so much more control. KT really trying to find any opportunity here. Rumble showing topside, but Kingen has teleport, so he can join in at any time. As Pyoshik is wrapping around, looking All for right. aiming. Going for the hero play. There's the flash forward. He finds the Crescent Guard and aiming. He's just going to explode. Deft picks up the kill. Now there's no AD carry, but they're still put. They have mid pile for the next objective. And for pushing the end here Wait. could be an option as well, but there's a rumble. Yeah, the Equalizer will be able to deal with that wave very, very effectively, but they're still pushing. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, I don't know Pyoshik's about this. really tanky, but 
Remember, yeah, you, you just don't do very much damage to these turrets when Showmaker is dealing with all of these minions. Okay, now they're going to try to rush over to Baron, but aiming will eventually go back towards D+. Oh, this, this is so gone, though, because they do so much Baron damage. Showmaker elected to get towards that bottom lane, wants to try and make the most of what is an awkward situation. So they will secure the Baron. They can play defense with that one. I mean, this feels like a chess game. It's just play after play, you know, KT. There's a lot of damage, though. Yeah. Yoshik now off on the side. He's going to spot Lucid here, but might be in trouble. There's the flash in Lucid. He's pulled the trigger. Empress Divide gets rid of him. The Culling's not doing that much, but in goes Kingen. He's trying to be the hero, but Deft is still alive. Lucid's out of there. Showmaker's looking for it, but it's not going to work out. And KT! They'll find the team fight. And do you know what the best part about this is? Game it means three? it ain't over yet. We're going to game three. Game Whoa. three, baby. <laughs> and that was sick play from Dev. Positioning so good. BDD with the Emperor's Divide and D+. Plus. They had so much control. Lucid goes in. The first time he went in, gave KT an angle back in. The second time, they dealt with him. <laughs> the Emperor's Divide was clutch. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCS 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.